Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being there. Um, knowing we are working towards the things that we are really, really trying to manifest in our life. And if we be patient, you know it's already on its way. It's already written. We already got it. So you got to just stay patient and believe in yourself as you believe in the universe. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, especially a fellow empath that are really going through some stuff right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose. Um, please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. My background meditation music is called Nod meditation connect uh to your higher self kundalini rising binary beats and i'll post that link in the description box below and my video today is twin flame 101 uh hey is when we realize people's evil doing is never personal it isn't you know i mean it's just like going through this uh journey has really taught me a lot it really has because it's like growing up the sister always thought it was like I really thought something was wrong with me because I was like why is everybody projecting their hatred towards me I knew there could be things just because of decisions I made I walked into stuff like that you know that he say she say stuff and da, 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 da. I mean I really had to learn from my mistakes of growing up you know I always used to be caught up in the middle of stuff even when I'm just trying to make help people make amends it's like sometimes you ain't even supposed to be helping me you know because I had to tell my daughters about that because they always want to be super safe person you know and there's a lot of times I said look when it comes to that drama sometimes you gotta let things work out the way it needs to work out don't add yourself to that because next thing you know they're like well she said this and she said that next thing you know you stuck right there in the middle and both of the people that were mad at each other end up being mad at you you know so you have to really watch it and it's just like looking at my situation it's taught me so many life learning lessons better to love myself being able to step myself out of that box of sorrow and pain and really see why these things had to happen to me why did i have to go through the things that i went through you know i went through a narcissistic traumatic tra uh toxic traumatic you know relationship for 20 some years and i had to deal with my family you know abuse for since you know forever you know and going through these things you know um i was reading this uh a post that gossip girl she has her own channel jessica kind i love her to death because you know even though she's like a gossip blog you know she every morning she puts up a positive post and it's just like and it resonated with me because a lot of my things that you know i've you know constantly been going through for a while i'm still healing from i'm letting that go but you know like when you feel like you're letting more stuff go and you're over and done with it there's more stuff that's coming to the surface that you need to pop ways uh I said pop waves but part ways with you know and it was just like certain things come to you when you truly need to hear that you know because there's a lot of times I'm just like you know I know I'm not a perfect person but it's just like you know when others can't control you they control how other people see you you know and it was just like I had to keep telling you know telling myself that you know because it's like my ex he would constantly be talking about me to whoever he decided to deal with at that time you know and it was just like people constantly looking at me crazy or you know they coming at me about some BS or whatever but it was just like things were misconstrued well not misconstrued he made them like that <laughs> he made himself look like a victim and putting all this stuff on me and they don't realize whatever is going to be done to me is going to be done to them sooner or later but I was able to see people for who they truly are and it was times I didn't even sit real with me especially when I went all out my way and did a lot of things you know from my relationship but it was just like you know I, I'm not mad because I went through that situation I'm not saying that oh I wish I never went through that situation because that relationship has taught me a lot 
you know, even though when he still do stuff, hey, Rosalind stays in her own box, in her own corner. <laughs> you know, even though I don't belong in a box, but I, you know, in my peaceful area. You know, because it's just like there's too much to be going on with certain things. And I just have to look and be like, I pray, I pray for them. You know, you really have to do that. And it's just like I had to learn that even though people might talk bad about you, you never know. It's just your, it could be just your glow up. Because there's been so many things pressed upon you. They might not have been able to handle that. I mean, I've had people not even that I was with that projected insecurities out on me. Because of the things that I was able to let go of. Things, you know, even still trying to be jokey and, you know, making people laugh. And, you know, want to act silly. You know, just to cheer people up. And they're like, Rosalind, how are you able to do that with all the things you are going through and all the things you have went through? Because I know there's, I'm that I'm not that person they try to make me be. I never was. You know, I've, I'm a work in process, pro, pro, process, pro, you know, process and progress. You know, I had to learn because I used to be a hateful person. I could be the nicest one you, you know, you can ever meet. But if anybody ever seen, just like my dad, if you ever seen him in purple one, he had that, oh, okay, you gonna piss me off? Okay, let me show you. You know, I was like that. And I used to, there's times I looked at him, it was like, oh, you know, well, Morris didn't like this and she didn't like it either. He looked like, I don't care. <laughs> it was like he didn't care. And it's just like, I was that person too. And, you know, being able to grow, grow up from that, not allowing you know people to just ba basically you know when they when they see they project their insecurities towards you because there's a lot of things in themselves that they don't like you like why don't they like me shoot half of the time when they wake up they don't like them so how you expect somebody to like you is just like i looked at my situation especially when it had to do with my ex and it's just like he can't respect me and i had to look at it like he don't respect himself because the things that when you when you're doing what you're doing obviously you don't respect yourself you ain't you know, worried about your health and doing all this and this and this and that. So I had to be able to understand that he is showing you the true you. When you deal with narcissistic people, they do that princess charming or prince charming and stuff like that. And then when things get rough and things start, you know, peeling away and you really starting to see things from that real true surface, they're allowing you to see who they really are. And, you know, and it's just like when he, him, and even when it came to my family, when they felt, figured out that they could control me, they would control how others see me. You know, always made something, you know, I could be, inter you know, I, I just now meet anybody that associates with my mom's ex-husband, his wife, when I did hang out with them. It would be so nice. And as soon as they would go over there and start doing that water, water cooler talk, all of a sudden they started looking at me like they were better than me. And started having this little, I'm like, what the heck did she say? And I always told her, why is every time you start pointing at me or you start looking my direction when people just first see me, they were all nice. And all of a sudden, when you really start saying something, you know, they start, you know, they start looking at me all up and down. And it was just like, when I was telling y'all, you know, if you've been with me for a while, my daughter just graduated. It wasn't just me, my daughter graduating, it was me because I had to end up having that closure it's just like i haven't seen them you know i haven't really dealt with them like that since like almost about six months to a year before my dad passed away and it was just like because too many things was coming out at once like we can get along one day and then the next thing you know you're doing something stupid just for me to go off on you you know and it was just like i didn't never understand why that i had to constantly go through that with my so-called family but then when i started putting two and two together when everything fell out when my dad passed you know, it was like they 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 waited until I was like on the brink of just basically losing my mind, wanted to just blow my own head off because it was like I put so much guilt on myself. And then when I finally put two and two together and I separated myself from them, you know, when I finally seen them for who they were, it was just like the first time. It was like two days before my dad's anniversary last year, and I took my power back from my my mom's ex husband. You know, saying, oh, I love you. I don't need that kind of damn love in my life. You can keep that, you know, or, you know, I said, you just wasted. Anytime we talked and he was like, well, you know, we're not going to get anywhere. No, you wasted 20 minutes. I can't get back. You know, and I straight said that I, I didn't care about it. I could have been that cold hearted itch with the B in the front of it and did not care. But that let him know that he still had my power. But when I just told him, I ain't got time. You know, you, you got all the proof right in here in front of you and the truth. And you still want to lie about stuff. You know, I had to cut it off. 
you know, when I seen them last time, it was funny. It was like, you tell me about your third grade teacher, the street you lived on, and this and this, and that, and all that, man, is like death walking on chips, you know, and you can remember that. But anything I said projected out about me and my daddy, you ain't know nothing about that. Oh, I don't remember that. Uh, I was like, oh, and it brought me right back to that point, but I never changed my character. I was calm as, as a warm and sunny day. And it was like my kids were like, Mom, you know, when you started talking to them, I thought we were just waiting for it to start happening. She, they thought I was about to start throwing blows over there. And I said, no, the old Rosalind, I would whoop the hell out my stepmom's ass just because the fact is I know he did that to make sure she was living good. And then I would have tagged his ass right after that. <laughs> it was like I fight old people when you have to, when you, you ain't sign that you know ass whooping cause and in case you get caught for the stupid stuff you doing you gotta get your ass whooped no i left that alone because it's just a fact is all the stuff that you had done to me pretty soon sooner or later everybody in this nation gonna know what you did everybody in that nation because it was just like they want so bad for people to know who they are and that wish is about to come granted and they also sit up here and said their worst fear is going to jail so i'm like well damn okay you know, Rosalind, you just keep doing you. Don't take it personal about what they doing. Don't take it personal about what your ex is doing. Because all they are is just showing their insecurities and they're posting it on other people. Because it's like I said, when people can't control you, they will control how people see you. As long as you know you're not you're not going out and doing what they show. You know, people can say a lot of things about you, but it's what you choose to show people. I'm going to keep on being me, no matter what anybody say. I, I've had people... You know, project their insecurities on me. And I know you probably had that towards you just because you're in a hayoka. You know, people tend to do that. Because there's a lot of times that things you'll you're uh come across people that there's things you you basically need to improve in yourself. You know what I'm saying? And there's other things that you gotta help somebody with. Or there's things that people just come your way for you to be able to go towards that next level. There's always those three type of people, and you gotta see which one is what. But it's just like going through things like this, you should never take it personal. And I mean, that's the reason why I'm able to basically be at peace for what I did. Because I'm like, girl, I'm so proud of you. And, you know, I heard the heavens. I even heard my dad like, ooh, I know you wanted to go ahead and show him one of the two. But I'm glad you didn't. I said, no. Mm -mm. It's all, like I said, it's always calm before the storm. People, and they always taught me, when you don't react to people, when you should be enraged, that scares them more than anything. Because if you, you end up showing that they're still enraged with, with the person that did stuff to you, that means they still got power over you. And for me to be calm like that, it scares my kids to death. Because they know how I am. I was straight low low brick loaders off you. <laughs> I fight. You know, but it was just like, you ain't even worth my energy. Like, when my mom my ex you ain't worth my energy either you know you have to be able to keep going and not allow people to bring you out of character there's gonna be some people that don't like you and there's gonna be some people that'll love you and there'll be people that are praising you just for the fact is the love and the positivity you projecting out because it's like i told y'all y'all story gonna be somebody else's survival guide and it's just like when I, I try to be able to lead by example to let you know, even though people have done everything up and under sun to you, if you are actually blessing somebody actually apologizes for the things they have put you through, accept that apology because it took a lot for them to be able to come back and admit they're wrong. But even when people don't sit up here and give you that sorry because narcissistic, narcissistic people will not do that because that's going to admit that they're not perfect. So when you don't, Get that sorry you never got and take your power back. Don't allow those people to still get to you like that. And I have to learn that myself. You know, keep doing you. You know you're pushing out positivity. You know you try to give love to everybody, especially the ones who really truly need it because they didn't feel that growing up as of, as of I. You know, I love to be able to help people along their journey. Be able to show things to them. God placed this gift on me to where I can be able to see people's past lives. Or I can even show, tell them, hey, if you ever experience this and this and this along your journey, this is the reason why. And they're able to, you know, allow me to be able to help people along their way. And there's been so many people I've been helping and letting them know you are not crazy. No matter if you go to doctors and they tell you you this, this, and this, and this, and that. A lot of the daggone mental is illnesses that they try to place on you is actually a gift. It's something that, you know, has been dormant for so long. And all these switches, oh, excuse me, all these switches are starting to come up. And it makes you feel like you are Lucy Lulu. <laughs> so allow your, you know, allow 
the things that have happened towards you, be able to heal from them. You know, you're better than whatever anybody tries to place on you. You know, if people want to talk about you, let them talk. You know who you are. The people that truly love you know who you are. And don't allow what people's naysaying affect you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Uh, I'd like to give a post notification shout out to Sandy Mack, Makai Smith, and Ritz Crackers. Much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know, you know, if you resonate. So I can give you a post notification shout out. Share, thumbs up, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace. Be wild. Well.